Computers, programs, applications, and other technologies change at such a rapid pace, it's often difficult to determine which technology is best for your current project. At times, it can seem like comparing apples to oranges. One of the most efficient ways to compare a group of similar applications, programs, computers, or even smartphones is to create a features comparison matrix to illustrate how the tools are different. So today I'm going to show you how to create a features comparison matrix. To simplify my illustration, I'm going to cut out all of the techno jargon and compare something that most of us are already familiar with. So let's make a features comparison matrix comparing a variety of different fruits, including apples and oranges. Let's get started. The first step to creating a features comparison matrix is, matrix is to determine exactly what you want to compare. Let's start by listing several fruits, apple, orange, banana, pear, grape. We could go on all day, but let's narrow our focus to just five so we don't overwhelm ourselves. The next step is to brainstorm a list of the typical attributes of these fruits. Why don't we start with color? These fruits can be red, green, yellow, purple, or orange. And how about their texture? Some fruits may be crunchy, pulpy, mealy, squishy, or mushy. As for taste, let's try tart, sweet, and sour. Again, we could probably go on and on, but let's focus on the most important features for our matrix so we don't overwhelm ourselves. Now, let's begin to build our matrix. We'll start by opening a Word document and creating a table. You might also use Excel to create a similar table, but I prefer Word. Within this table, we will list our features in the first column and then add our fruits to the top row. Then we'll place an X in each fruit's row, row under the features that go with that particular fruit. And there we have our features comparison matrix. So next time you're in the mood for a green, crunchy, sour treat, you can pull out your matrix and see plainly that what you're looking for is a Granny Smith apple rather than an orange. Now think about how you can use this concept to compare cell phone plans, video editing software, or any other type of technology. The possibilities are endless.